Analyzed by AI for study help for Kenneth Uden. This, this slide shows an AI text analysis of many or most artifacts from the textbook for study help. However, the artifact images will be in another slideshow. W, WSD 2010 Artifacts Chapter 1 Plus 2 Claude AI here, here are some of the key artifacts mentioned in the text and how they could be described academically. Effigy bottle from Cahokia Mound, circa 1200-1400. This intricately carved ceramic vessel depicting a nursing mother was recovered from the Cahokia Mound site and provides insight into Mississippian culture and views on motherhood. Queen Isabella and King Ferdinand reconquer Granada, 1520-1522, a carved wooden relief portraying Queen Isabella and King Ferdinand's 1492 reconquest of Granada, symbolic of Isabella's militant Catholicism and role in consolidating Spanish power. Linson and Cortez, 16th century, an indigenous pictorial account on cloth of the meeting between conquistador Hernan Cortes and Melinson, his now interpreter and consort, indicating her central role in the Spanish conquest of Mexico. A, a note from Kenneth Udit, it is at this point that I realize the Claude Ea artifact summary does underscore not underscore contain all of the artifacts from the textbook, as there are 319 extracted images and only 167 slides here. So this is now a detailed overview. Canadian Iroquois women making maple sugar, 1724, an engraved illustration of Iroquois women harvesting maple sap and producing maple sugar, providing insight into gender roles in women's work in Iroquois society. The, the Potter family, circa 1740, an oil painting of the Potter family of Rhode Island that includes an unidentified young African-American male domestic slave, illustrating slavery's role in colonial wealth and status. Casa paintings, Circa 1715, stylized oil paintings from New Spain depicting racial categories and idealized interracial families, both promoting colonial society's hierarchy and structure. Elizabeth, Elizabeth Freak and Child, 1674, an early colonial American oil portrait exemplifying Puritan ideals of motherhood and demonstrating the sitter's piety and status. I tried, I tried to provide brief factual descriptions of each artifact while also noting how they offer wider insights into colonial history, culture, and gender roles. Let me know if you need any clarification or have additional artifacts I should describe. The WSC 2010 Artifacts Chapter 3 Plus 4, Claude AI. Based on the text provided, the key artifacts that could be described in an academic paper include Images slash illustrations 1. A Society of Patriotic Ladies, 1774, a British cartoon mocking the Edenton, North Carolina women who signed a boycott pledge. The pics, the pics fashionable women neglecting children and acting unfeminine. In, indicates British perceptions of rebellious colonial women. 2. two. Miss, Miss Fanny's Maid, 1770, drawing of a woman holding a musket possibly inspired by stories of women who fought in the Revolutionary War in male disguise. Used, used for patriotic propaganda about women's contributions. 3. three the Female Combatants, 1776, satirical engraving depicting Britain and the American colonies as women engaged in a fistfight, with symbolic items. Prov provides insight into contemporary views on the conflict. 4. L Liberty in the form of the Goddess of Youth, 1796, patriotic image of the goddess Liberty nourishing an eagle, representing the young American Republic. In indicates the popularity of using female figures to symbolize American ideals. 5. Liberty displaying the arts and sciences, 1792, unusual in combining image of liberty with freed slaves, hinting at link between revolutionary ideology and abolition. Shows how reformers used art to promote their causes. Portraits. 1. De Deborah Sampson, 1797, painting of woman soldier who disguised herself as a man to fight in the Revolutionary War. Doc documents a little known part of women's war participation. 2. Phyllis, Phyllis Wheatley, 1773, frontispiece portrait of first published African American woman poet, emphasizes her literacy and status as author. 3. Mercy Otis Warren, 1763, feminine portrait of woman writer and historian of the revolution. Con conveys her elite status and intellectual accomplishments. 4. Mumbed, Mumbed Elizabeth Freeman, 
1811, post-emancipation portrait of former slave, plaintiff in 1781 freedom suit that helped end slavery in Massachusetts. Rare visual documentation of an African-American female historical actor. O other visual culture. 1. The, re the Religious Souvenir, 1839, idealized engraving promoting women's piety, domesticity, and maternity within the home. Re reflects consumerism of middle-class homes. 2. Life in Philadelphia, 1828, satirical prints mocking free black Americans' claims to respectability. Re reveals racial prejudice of white northerners. 3. Photographs of slaves, plantation mistresses, and freed women, 1850s-1860s, early photographs providing visual documentation of slave women's lives and labor, can, can be analyzed from both white and black perspectives. 4. Godey's Ladies Book Illustrations, 1840s-1850s, images of white, middle-class women reflecting tenets of true womanhood. Useful for analyzing gender ideals and women as consumers. 5. Early, early Factory Workers, 1854-1860, rare early occupational photos of female textile workers, showing pride in their jobs. D documents women's experiences in early industrial wage labor. The, the key is to provide enough descriptive detail to identify each image slash document, its state, creator, if known, and subject matter. Th then analyze the significance of the visual content and what it reveals about gender, labor, class, and race in this period. WSD 2010 Artifacts Chapter 5 Plus 6, Plot AI the, the text includes various types of artifacts that could be described and analyzed in an academic paper. Here are some examples. Photographs. Women of the Philippines, p. 388, a 1911 photo of Native American women at a conference, showing their activism. Could analyze the women's expressions, clothing, posture to understand their status and agenda. Ida B. Wells Barnett, p. 329, a formal portrait showing her intellectual bearing. Could, could discuss her pose, clothing, expression. Im immigrants at Ellis Island, p. 401, shows diverse new immigrants. Could, could analyze their appearance, possessions, emotions. J Jacob Reese photos, pages 408 to 14, urban images exposing poverty. Could discuss purposes, methods, evoke responses. C College Settlement House, p. 425, shows settlement house classroom. Could discuss gender, class, ethnicity, activities. W Women's Trade Union League, P. 431, working class and middle class activists together. Could discuss clothing, status, collaboration. Tr Triangle Shirtwaist Fire, P. 433, gruesome image of fire's victims. C could discuss emotional impact, social change affected. Suffragists marching, P. 449, demonstrates public presence. Could analyze appearance, banners, spectacle. Picketing the White House, p. 453, suffrage radicals. Could, could discuss methods, provocative signs, goals. Cover, government documents. Dawes Act, p. 359, provided for allotment of native lands. Could analyze goals, results, Effects on Native Women P Page Law, P. 401, Ban Chinese Women's Immigration Could, could discuss anti-Asian bias, gender and immigration Moeller v. Moeller v. Oregon, P. 422, Upheld Women's Work Hours Limits Could, could analyze gender stereotypes and vote, effects Post Posters w World War I Posters, PP 470 to 74, patriotic images recruiting support. Could, could discuss gender ideals conveyed, groups excluded. Cartoon. The Awakening, p. 437, suffrage map shows movement's progress. Could discuss symbolism, rhetoric, message. So in analyzing artifacts, I would focus on the purpose, message, design, emotional impact, and social-slash-historical significance.
WSD 2010 Artifacts Chapter 7 Plus A, Quad AI Here are some of the key artifacts mentioned in the text chapters and how they could be described academically. Pain paintings and drawings, these visual images can be described by title, artist, date, medium, and subject matter. And any figures, portraits, or scenes depicted should be identified. Style, composition, use of color and shading can also be analyzed. Photo photographs, photographs should be identified by photographer if known, date, subject matter slash who is pictured, and context in which photo was taken if available. Deta details of clothing, facial expressions, poses, setting, etc. can be analyzed. P political cartoons slash satirical illustrations, these can be described by artist if known, publication date, magazine slash newspaper published in, and the specific issue slash event being satirized or commented on. The, the use of caricature, symbols, stereotypes, etc. can, can be analyzed. Art, artifacts like clothing or tools, these can be identified by type of object, materials, approximate date, who use them, and their purpose slash function. Details of craftsmanship, wear and tear, innovations, and cultural significance can also be discussed. Written documents, letters, diaries, speeches, etc. Can, can be identified by author, date, context in which written, intended audience, and significance. T tone, perspective, and key quotes can be analyzed. A advertisements. These can be described by product advertised, media outlet, date, significance of images and text used. Gendered, racial, or class-based appeals can be discussed. When describing artifacts in an academic paper, the goal is to provide enough identifying information and descriptive detail to give the reader a clear sense of the object's form, purpose, and significance in relation to the historical context. The, the analysis should go beyond basic description to interpret deeper meaning and connections to key themes. WSC 2010 Artifacts Chapter 9 Plus 10, Claude A. Ba based on the excerpts provided, some key artifacts mentioned in the text include phot Photographs slash images, there are several photographs, such as those of Rosa Parks, Elizabeth Eckford during the Little Rock School integration, women defense workers during World War II, etc. Th these could be described by providing the subject matter, date, photographer slash source, and context in which the image was captured. O oral history interviews the text includes transcribed excerpts from oral history interviews with civil rights activists like Diane Nash, Vivian LeBerg Rothstein, Mary Dora Jones, and Erline Boyd. These, these could be cited by providing the interviewee's name and background, interviewer, date conducted, archive source, and summarized content. Let letters slash writings, examples are the letter written by activist Vivian LeBerg Rothstein to her mother from jail and the Women in the Movement paper written by Casey Hayden and Mary King. These could be cited by providing the author, recipient, if applicable, date, source location, and summary of key contents. Go government records, the text mentions government reports like that of the U.S. Women's Bureau on Women's Post-War Employment Plans in 1946. These could be cited by providing the agency name, report title, publication details, an overview of findings. Ma magazine articles, the Ladies Home Journal Forum Should Mothers of Young Children Work? is excerpted. This, this could be cited by providing the article title, magazine name, date published, authors, and key perspectives covered. Book, books, The Feminine Mystique by Betty Friedan is discussed. In, in citing this, one could provide the full book title and publication details, a brief description of its content slash arguments, and its significance. In, in an academic paper, the full citation would be provided and first mentioned, along with necessary context about the artifact's origins, purpose, authorship, etc. Des description should be objective and free of value judgments. Images would typically be included as figures, properly labeled, referenced, and described. WSC 2010 Artifacts Chapter 11 Plus 12, Plot AI Based on the sections included, some examples of artifacts discussed and how they could be described academically are Military recruitment posters, 
Big 12.1, the original 1999 poster shows a female marine drill sergeant with the text we never promise you a rose garden. The, uneof the unofficial modified version shows the same image but with changed text reading we don't promise you a rose garden either. It could, it could be described as a visual text demonstrating evolving attitudes towards women's military roles. P photograph of Kristen Beck, Fig 12.2 this 2013 news photograph shows Beck, a transgender former Navy SEAL, after transitioning to female. It reflects changing policies and experiences of transgender people in the military. We, we cannot live without our lives protest banner. Fig 12.4, this banner was carried at a 1979 protest over murdered black women in Boston. It, it represents material culture related to African American women's activism around issues of violence and policing. Photo photograph of Margaret Witt's wedding, Fig 12.3, this 2012 news photograph shows Major Witt marrying her female partner after her military discharge under Don't Ask Don't Tell was reversed. It represents the experiences of gay and lesbian service members. Excerpts, excerpts from Department of Defense report on Tailhook 91, these official government documents provide textual evidence of sexual assault in the military and the institutional response. Children's Book Review of Hero Mom This 2013 book review discusses a text aimed at military children with mothers serving abroad, reflecting changing demographics of parenthood in the armed forces. More, more examples could likely be drawn from additional sections not included here. The, the key is providing enough context and description for the reader to understand the type, origin, date, and significance of each artifact as evidence. Here are some key takeaways about the artifacts mentioned in the text. They provide, they provide diverse perspectives and experiences, from Native American, African American, immigrant, working class, and middle class women. This, this allows for analysis through various cultural lenses. Visual culture like paintings, posters, cartoons, and photographs offer insights into gender ideals, racial attitudes, reform movements, etc. That, that written text alone cannot. Re reading the visual rhetoric expands understanding. Mat material objects like clothing, tools, and household goods reflect women's roles, labor, skills, and living conditions in different time periods. They demonstrate aspects of everyday life. Personal, personal writings like letters and diaries reveal individual thoughts, emotions, and eyewitness accounts of events, balancing out broad historical narratives. The variety of artifacts allows for examination of both continuity and change over time in women's lives, opportunities, identity, and status in society. An analysis of the purpose, context, authorship, and original intended audience for each artifact provides clues to broader cultural values and norms. No, no single type of artifact dominates. Instead, the text presents a mosaic of visual, material, textual, and oral history sources for interpreting the past. The, ar the artifacts provide evidence of both women's oppression and agency during each historical era. A, r a range of perspectives is represented. Des description and analysis of so many primary source artifacts models the process of research in women's history and use of diverse methodologies. In, su in summary, the artifacts support multi-layered, nuanced analyses of women's experiences using material culture techniques suited for gender history.